What is up, peoples? Out and Pound here. Let me just say one thing before I start this video. If you're not mature enough to handle what I'm going to say, which may or may not offend you, it may or may not offend you, depending on your set, your stance, and you know, I, you might see the light from this video, but if you can't handle it, if you don't take well to, to uh, reality, pretty much, just click away. Just click away, because I, I, I'm kind of just a little disappointed um, right now. Basically, what I'm going to be talking about is everyone complaining, and it has something to do with ignorance a little bit, but everybody complaining about quote-unquote fodder. I mean, yeah, I, I guess you, if you want to call them fodder, it's fine, because, I mean, you can look at them that way. But in this Dress Rosa tournament arc in One Piece, because people in general, uh, what I see sometimes, I, I have seen it a couple times, is people hold different series up to different standards in a wrong way, meaning you will look at one thing happening in one series and you will like it, and you will see something similar happening in another series and you will criticize it for that. And it's kind of a double standard kind of thing, I mean, and really if you're trying to be a critic, if you're trying to be someone who looks at things from a critical perspective, you cannot do that. that, that that's just being ignorant to be honest with you, but you might not have noticed, which is why I'm not gearing this towards everyone, so just hear me out. There have been two peak types of people, there have actually been three types of people in the last couple of days uh, pertaining to the Dressrosa tournament arc. There's been the type that appreciates these these characters being introduced, you know, that take them for what they are, you know, they're the people, sorry, four types of people, they're the people that enjoy them and, you know, just enjoy their introduction. There are the people who are uninterested in them, but they see their importance. And there are the people that think that their time is being wasted, that the series quality is being lessened because these characters are being introduced. And that is being sort of, well, that's being completely ignorant, to be honest. I mean, let's look at this from a critical perspective, please, because apparently that's what you're trying to do if you're criticizing the, the, the series for having secondary characters introduced during a tournament. Basically, what's happening is what happens literally during every tournament arc that has ever existed in the face of the earth okay literally i'm being so honest this is an extreme i know extremes are bad i know but think about it which tournament in anime or manga have you seen that has not introduced characters that are just there to be defeated to fight and be defeated that's the point of a tournament let's let, let's look at a tournament okay characters are introduced for the tournament to be a good tournament, the characters have to be explained. Do they not? They need to be introduced. Do they not? And after they're introduced, they will fight in order to win whatever, to win the tournament, basically. That, that's what every character in the tournament's goal is. Basically, what's happening here with these secondary characters being introduced is the same that has happened with the Dark Tournament, the Hakusho, every tournament that ever was. Okay, every tournament that ever was. That's like you complaining that in the dark tournament they introduced other teams to fight against Team Miramesh. That's basically what you're complaining about. You're complaining about the about every tournament ever. Basically, basically it's what you're doing. You're complaining about the tuning exams. You're complaining about the hunter exam. You're complaining about every competition in anime and manga. You're complaining about most arcs that have ever existed. There are characters that are going to be introduced for the sake of the tournament, and that is so obvious. So why you would sit there and say that your time is being wasted, that you're not enjoying yourself because characters are being introduced for a tournament? Would you rather have four characters compete in the whole tournament? Or six? I, I don't know what you would, what, the, what is going on in your mind if you're really, really thinking that a tournament arc will not have characters. I mean, honestly, as soon as you heard the word tournament, you should have been expecting this, let's be honest. And, let's be honest with ourselves, people are going to complain if the characters in the tournament are not described, and are not outlined, and their powers are not definite, and they're not gone over. People would complain. And people are complaining that they are well explained, they're being introduced, they're being, they're given depth, you know, you, you really can't please people is what I'm starting to believe. You can't please, it's not like you can't please people, Pe people just aren't being reasonable with, like, with themselves. Let's be completely honest, you, you, you should have been expecting it. 
And of course, it's kind of ignorant as well to say that they won't apply later. The, obviously, they're going to have a goal even later after the tournament. If you, But I really just can't see where you're coming from even, which is why I'm kind of doing this. I mean, it's not really pissing me off as much as it's making me rethink, you know, how some people's minds work. I mean, double standards are never a good thing to have, especially when you're trying to be critical about a series. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'm not really trying to offend anyone by this. I'm not trying to. I'm just voicing my opinion, and I'm voicing why other people have kind of been straying in their opinions and in their judgment as far as um, criticizing different series. In, the, in this case, it's going to be One Piece, Dress Rosa Tournament Arc. But honestly, this happens to a lot of series, and I really think it's a shame. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this video, about the problem. And yes, I'm going to answer every single comment you put on the video, because I really, really am interested in seeing what is going on in people's minds when they're saying some of the things they say. Anyways, guys, Alden Palantir. Peace out.